Opening days tomorrow, guys. Opening day of the baseball season. Cannot wait. It, um, it's so great. Oh, good. Oh, Thank you very Mike. much. And batting leadoff here in the Rich Eisen <laughs> Show coverage of the two ni- 2019 season is uh, the manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers, Dave Roberts, back on the show. How are you, Skipper? Hey, Rich. What's happening? How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, before we get to all, all of that, being obviously the baseball season and, and the Dodgers, uh, there's a big, huge conversation in the sports world out of the NFL about uh, change of instant replay. What's your stance on instant replay with baseball? Um, you know what? I, I think uh, I actually I, I'm a fan. I, I think that, um, you know, the players and speaking for people, obviously, I've got a bias of you know, on the field. And I just want the call to be right. And I think that there are times where, you know, it's, un, it's kind of undecided or the call stands, but I think for the most part, these guys get it right uh, with the replay. I don't think it takes much time as people think. And, and for me, I think for the most part, I'd like to get the call right more than not. So I, I'm a fan. Well, with baseball, obviously when you're talking, whether a ball's beaten someone to the bag or is a ball fair or foul or over, the uh, the wall. I mean, it is. It's usually a line involved. What, what what's happening with the NFL is a judgment call. Would you want to see balls and strikes replayed, Dave? Uh, no, no. I, I I don't think uh, I would like to see that. But I do think that you know. I think that you know. There's been talk about that uh, electric strike zone and stuff like that. Where obviously there's still a place for the home plate umpire. And, and I think for anyone, I think that, you know, one side, the human element, I, I think, is part of baseball, has always been. But, again, the part of getting it right um, is kind of, for me, outweighs it a little bit. And I, I will say, though, is that when baseball players complain about it or want the electric strike zone, I think the hitters are going to have a rude awakening because um, there's going to be a lot more strikes called than balls that they think. So, uh so that's going to be uh, something that's going to unfold here, I'm sure, in the next few years. Yeah, you think so? Uh, interesting. What do you what do you mean by that? You think uh, an electronic eye might be more? Um... So I think would favor more the pitcher. Huh. Yeah. What? Why do you think that? I, I think that there's balls that um, where the hollow of the knee, um, right below the kneecap, and uh, above the belt or the the uh, kind of where you take your stance and right below the armpits or however it's kind of the verbiage in the, in the rule book. Um, I do think that that low ball that players think is down is a strike. And, um, you know, more for me, it's the north and south versus east and west. West, I think that they're, the pitchers they get a little bit more on the corners. But I think north and south, I think that it, with the electric strike zone, I think hitters would be a, a, a shocked that the ball is called strikes. Dave Roberts, Dodgers manager here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. What's your favorite opening day memory, Dave? I think for me, my first one um, with the Dodgers, um, that was 2002 Dodgers-Giants. Um, I had lead off that game. Kevin Brown, LeVon Hernandez, Barry Bonds on the other side. Uh, we ended up getting our butts kicked. Uh, I think Barry hit two homers that day. <laughs> um, but just to kind of be my my first opening day start on the line, Dodgers-Giants, Felipe Lou was on the other side. Uh, Jim Tracy, my manager, uh, it was it was a pretty special moment for me. Yeah, what about what's your first opening day? What was your first one? Was that in '99 or is that you, you or you so came I up during came the season? Up in '99, right. and then um, my first one, I think, actually my first one because I was kind of up and down for three years, and then um, my first full year was uh, 2002. So that was my first one as no, well. Yeah, for the, wow. So your first one with the Dodgers was your first one where you you came out of spring Started, training and you yeah. went there. Huh. What what is your what is your take coming into a season after having two long seasons finish short of the ultimate goal? Um, my take is uh, it's a new season, um, and I and I think that there's a lot of uh, excitement. Obviously, every team thinks they have a chance uh, for the most part to win the World Series, um, but I think that it's been a very productive three years for me um, and with this organization, with this club. And obviously we haven't won it all, but uh, I see no reason why we won't put ourselves in that position again and, and get over the hump here this year. And the clubhouse, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, did you feel you need to address like it's a new year or, or, or what's your sense of that? That's no, why you're called no. a manager, not a, yeah. not a coach. No, for sure, uh, Rich. I, I think that's a fair question. But but no, I think that with the guys that we have, whether it's Clayton, JT, 
uh, Ken Lee. Uh, David Fries, uh, obviously, is one of my favorites. Um, I, I think the thing is that it's, it's pretty much understood what we need to do. And um, I, I don't let our guys get too far ahead of the next day, the next day's game. And I think that's something that's really uh, boring, but I think that it's something that works. It, it's, a, it's a method and, and a form of that is not too much to overcome, you know, to, to try to win that day. And that's what we try to do. Um, we did kind of shuffle the deck a little bit. Mm-hmm. When you bring in Russell Martin back, um, you bring in Joe Kelly, um, A.J. Pollock. So there's different guys. Corey Seager's back this year. So um, there's a little bit difference, but but the core is still intact. And it, it's, uh, it's going to be a fun team to watch this year. Very talented, focused group. Dave Roberts, Dodgers manager here on the Rich Eisen Show. Let's talk about, then again, uh, who who is there. Um, Clayton Kershaw. Not getting the start, uh, but he is seemingly on the mend. W- what can you tell me about his readiness and when we expect to see him on the mound this year? Yeah, I, I would say uh, as we sit here today, I would say Clayton is a couple weeks away um, for, for pitching uh, for us. Uh, on Saturday here, we've got a three-inning, we call it a simulated game where he faces hitters and he goes in the dugout three different times, pitches three innings, and um, so then we'll continue to build up from that. Um, he's doing really well. A uh, little bit behind as far as he's made so many consecutive opening day starts, but uh, understanding that it's a long season and we just need him healthy, so he's coming back. He'll be fine. And Rich Hill is alongside him on the, uh, they call it the injured list now. Yes, Rich. they do. Um, the injured <laughs> list. I want to get my wording right. Um, and, he, and he's... Uh, probably a few days ahead of Clayton. So we get these guys come back soon. And Bueller? What about Walker? What's and going Walker on? is going to start the fourth day of the season, that, uh, okay. that Sunday against the uh, the Dimebacks. And he's raring to go. You're going to see uh, 97 to 99 uh, on that Sunday, and, and he's locked and loaded. Okay. Now, when you simulate a game, are you you doing just now the two minutes between innings now? I mean, you know those rules. They've sliced a few yeah, seconds off right. here, Dave. No, you know, that's fair. That's fair. Um, so it, it, it's kind of trying to simulate – the other side, offensive side, so, you know, whether it's a, a five, seven, ten-minute inning and okay. then we get them back out there. But I hear you. No, I don't. You, know, you just want to make sure you're complying. You know, I, I, mean, I appreciate that. This is that. it. Pace of, like, even trying to replicate as much as we can. We, you're right. We call that simulated pace of play rules. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so we, I don't know. I might be the only one calling that. That might have been the royal we. Uh, what is it like having a shortstop coming back from Tommy John's surgery with Corey Seager? Oh. That's a rarity, it, it's, Dave. It's like, you know, you talk about – free agents and, and the guys that, that were kind of signed and, and traded and things like that. This is our, one of our big acquisitions. You know, we didn't have Corey all year. And so to get him back, uh, Rich, when you see him, he looks fantastic. Um, he's healthy. He's moving well um, to see him take the field, to see him uh, in the batter's box. Obviously I get excited. Our players get excited. Fans get excited. So we're considerably better uh, when Corey's healthy and, um, Early on, uh, I'm going to you know, run him up there three games and then give him blow and get him back in there. And So we're going to kind of manage that early so then when we get in the middle of summer, we can kind of let him go. And are, are the Dodgers done adding? I mean, there's so many guys. It's unbelievable in this day and age the number of talented players who are still unsigned with opening day hitting. I don't, I don't recall an instance like that. Are, are the Dodgers done? We're done. We're, we're done. Um, so... Yeah, there's a lot of talented players out there, obviously. But I think that in-house, what we did in the winter, uh, where we're at right now, I love our guys. I love our depth. And um, Andrew uh, Friedman, our team president, does a very good job of kind of trying to put together a major league roster and uh, prepare for the un- unknown, the unforeseen injuries and things like that. So uh, to your question, yeah, we're ready to go. We're all set. How close were you with Bryce Harper? I know you met with him in Vegas. So. We met with them, and, uh, you know, I think that only Bryce and, and Scott, uh, his agent, could only tell you how close we were. I, I felt the thing went well, the meeting, uh, you know, with Bryce and his his, uh, his uh, staff and his guys and his team and his wife and uh, our guys over there. Um, I, I'm, good, I'm happy we vetted the entire process, but ultimately he went uh, where he wanted to go. So uh, we wish him well, And uh, but again – we're in a good place. And walk me through what a meeting like that looks like for fans. I mean, you meet at his house. Yeah. What are you, you're over you're lunch? You get like, your spread? What do you got? You fly in, and, and uh, fortunately, uh, we flew private uh, nice. on our owner's uh, jet. Go kind of backdoor hotel, 
and it's almost like uh, Ocean's Eleven. You know, you kind of like figure like you got the back door into Vegas casino. It's <laughs> not that we're trying to take down a casino. No, no, no. Uh, I understand. You yeah. go there, and then you go up to the suite, and mm-hmm. you know you're on two sides of a table, and you're kind of just chatting, and you're talking about uh, the organization on the field part of it, the clubhouse, and contract part, and all that kind of stuff, and. They're doing listening. They're talking expectations, and you kind of recess to regroup, and you kind of wait for the phone to ring the next morning. So for me, it was a long night. Had a few hours sleep and had to get ready to address the team the next morning at 8 a.m. in Arizona. So it was a good experience for me. So then the the electricity goes out and the money's gone is basically what you're saying. It just it That's does, right. It, exactly. It's the, the oceans phrase right there. That's amazing. That's so, right. so I, I love that. So the, I guess the phone didn't ring. Is that basically what happened? Or you... uh, the, fo- the phone rang and uh, uh, we got news that uh, it wasn't going to happen. So, um, I, I again... We did a good job sure. of kind of going through the process, um, which a guy like Bryce, you got to kind of, uh, you know, see it through and see see what see if there's a chance. Nope. And um, it didn't work out. So, uh, like I said, we wish him the best. A couple more minutes left here with Dave Roberts. With Puig gone, who's the most likely player to lick a bat on your roster right now, Dave? I would say Enrique Hernandez. Okay. Um, I don't know if you saw that exhibition game last night, but – He's known once in a while, Rich, to be a little eccentric, and okay. he had some really tight, tight, painted on pants with the high socks, and <laughs> so he he's kind of quirky, loves the camera, the social media thing, okay. so I could see him being the guy licking a bat. All right, and how about snapping a bat over a thigh like it's a toothpick? Who's the oh, most that's likely a one? good one. Okay, snapping a bat uh, over the thigh, um, I would say probably Russell Martin. Huh. I mean, he's uh, okay. He's like built like a fire hydrant. He can snap, and he's strong enough to do it. So if Cody Bellinger tried to do it, he might snap his leg. <laughs> so uh, Russell could probably do it with that conviction and get it done. I was going to go Muncy. I, you know, Muncy's built like a fire hydrant too. Muncy's, right? Muncy's Muncy is, uh, but I still would go Russell. I mean, that's okay. Canadian in him. I think the Canadian <laughs> hockey player. I, I got Russell. And is Turner? Does he is he cut that thing at all? I mean, how does he show up to spring? Is he so trimmed it? Cut no, trimmed it, okay. groomed it. Uh-huh. Um, it's still for me out of control, but it, it suits him. Um, tighten up the hair. Got it. But he got on this dairy free thing, so a lot of our guys are on this Chase Utley dairy free thing. So what? JT, Corey, all these guys look fantastic. What do right you mean now. dairy free? What are you talking about? They just kind of don't do dairy anymore. So. Whether it's what you know, the cheese, whether it's the the cream and the coffee, you know, whatever it is, there's just no dairy, and they've kind of all leaned out. It's a different type thing. I need to kind of take heat, I guess. Well, I got hey, look, you wow. you eliminated the Brewers, you so you got the playoffs dairy free last year, right? I mean, there you go, there you go. You know what I mean? Um, hey, Dave, always appreciate our chats. Have a great. Uh, season or start of the season. We'll talk with you throughout. I always enjoy having you on the program, and I appreciate you taking time before a big day. All right, Rich. We'll be in touch. Take care. You guys, Dave Roberts. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.